The problem with monofilament line is that there's only one basic configuration. So if you envision it to be extruded, uh, there's a molten pot of hot uh, liquid nylon and it's forced through a nozzle and it creates a line. Then it goes through a very extensive process where it is stretched and oriented to achieve a stronger situation, but it shrinks down to still a small uh, diameter. If you, if you make it bigger, uh, it does get stronger, but it also blocks itself going through the air. It just becomes much more of a resistance. So the air drag alone on the monofilament line is a major portion of the horsepower that the trimmer has to develop in order to drive it through the air and to get it up to the speeds where, where it will effectively cut. One of the most important things that we had to uh, do here to solve the monofilament line problem is to first recognize that it is a very dull line and it's very weak. Uh, it has to be developed to the highest speeds. So our objective would be to lower the speed and increase the mass and increase the sharpness. So if you look at the two of these, the difference between the two, you'll see that we have much more mass, which gives it greater kinetic energy. And then we spread that kinetic energy and force over a very sharp area. That's like cutting with a sharp knife compared to a dull knife. In addition to the uh, concern for dullness and air drag and so forth associated with monofilament, um, we are looking at reliability. We're looking at how this hits a fence and breaks right off, for example, whereas the Aeroflex will hit the fence and it will turn to the flat and slide off. So dynamically, we improve the performance of the line by our design. Um, by making a longer and more, uh, much better material complex here and lowering the speeds and reducing the stress, why do we need a bump system? A bump system is there to replace line that is inherently going to break. By having our new design with the Aeroflex line blade, we have enormous areas and it's engineered to take stress and to cut at with the sharper edges. When you do that, you're reducing stress and you're reducing drag and actually we reduce the amount of fuel consumption.